seat of a 2010 Astra VXR. Now this is Ryan's car, he's brought it down for me to shoot today and I must say firstly a massive thank you to him for bringing this car down. Now this is a stage 3.5 Astra H and this means it's running 297 brake horsepower to the wheels. It is a 2 litre turbocharged Z20 litre engine and it is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission. This has had quite a bit of modifications done to it to get it to the stage 3.5 that it is today. But the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the sport button. That activates a lot more fun, let's say, in this car. Where most of these Astras are on the sport button maps, you have to have that on to really get the best out of these cars. So modifications wise, this has brand new Bilstein coilovers. It has Team Dynamic Pro Race 1.2 wheels. It has a Carson inlet on it. It has a Turbo Smarts actuator, forged front mounted intercooler, Powerflex engine mounts, it's a Remus turbo back exhaust system, and it has a Reddit remap. So we're going to find a cheeky B road for this one because this is what these cars are all about. The Astra is sort of made for this sort of thing. The whole hot hatch thing, this is one of the best ones they ever made. And honestly, after you modify it, and it's producing you know, a lot more brake horsepower than the standard, this should be a bloody good laugh. So, sport mode is on. Oh, it pops quite nice. <laughs> it sounds mental when it comes on boost. position is always one of those things I love about these. The Recaro seats are standard. This one has a nice strong feel to it, especially from the front end with the engine mount in it. And the back end has a white line anti-roll bar on it, which makes a huge difference to these. That is probably one of the best sort of handling things you can do to these Astras. So second gear will come on boost at around 4,000 RPM. Whoa! <laughs> Just a little blip then in second gear. These are, you know, a little bit prone to torque steer. This one isn't massive. Where it's a 3.5, the inlet actually changes up the brake horsepower in these. So originally, you know, a stage three would be around 300 brake horsepower, but with the inlet, it sort of brings down the torque from the bottom end to the top end of the rev range. So you don't get as much torque steer, but the surge of power all the way around in the rev range is a lot better. The spool is what I like the most though, about 3000 revs. <laughs> and the turn in, it's so, light on its feet, it's so poised when it goes into the turn. These Bilstein coilovers are fantastic, especially when you chuck it into a corner, you can feel a huge difference from the standard car. And I can feel that rear anti-roll bar making huge difference as well. It also pops and bangs fantastically. savage when it goes. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is bloody cool. I like this. The dump sounds, the roar of like the fighter jet sound coming out of the back of it when it comes on boost. Oh, it's a symphony of B-road VXR-ness and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Epic little car, my God. I think with these now as well, you know, they're coming down in price. This 60 plate one is gonna be a little bit more and it's only got 44,000 miles on it as well. So realistically to get this car, you're still looking higher up in the market. But if you're willing to take a chance on an older one with a bit more mileage on it, you can get them for sub 5,000 pound now. So, you know, if you're willing to put up with the chocolate gearboxes these had this one has actually had a refurbished gearbox six months ago so that's definitely one of the things to look out for on these but if you get one that's already had the gearbox done with a good low mileage and some awesome mods on it like this one you're laughing bargain of the century in my opinion if it's got the 
right bits and bobs on it and you've still got all the comfort these are such comfy cars and you can get everyone in the back of them you have a big boot to go along with it as well so yeah these are definitely up there in the want to buy hot hatches turn in is absolutely fantastic and then <laughs> try not to swear oh this thing is mad it's so good to drive and it's not just like front wheel drive turbo you know all over the place it's so poised in what it does so it's definitely got the excitement factor you want and the mods that have been done to this car they just show off how good these little cars are and the fact that you can get them for such a good bargain these days at the end of the day these are a bargain car right now makes it all the better and Ryan has got a bloody awesome hot hatch here that he uses for work takes the kids to school in and then you find a nice road and absolutely hurt it on the way back you've got heated seats you've got sat nav you've got you know all the mod cons under the sun and with this one you've got <laughs> oh wow what an epic epic car Whoa! <laughs> so much fun to drive these and i always remember good times of some of my friends having vxrs the whole vxr craze you know i get it and i i, I love it i love the idea that these seemingly you know small hot hatches that came out that were really good you know when they came out people are modifying them to make them better so guys i'd like to thank you all for watching make sure you like share and subscribe for more car reviews leave a comment below tell me your thoughts on the astra vxr range would you buy one and what are its competitors what do you think this competes with at its current market value and as i crest boost in this awesome astra vxr i'd like to thank you all for watching and i'll see you all on the next video cheers guys Awesome, awesome car.